What if I told you that the simplest element in design could unlock the most powerful motion graphics? Well, today we're taking ordinary lines and turning them into cinematic visuals that demand attention right here in After Effects. <laughs> Let's get started. So we're going to build this awesome scene first where a line travels and the camera follows because it's actually fairly simple. And once we get through all this, all the other ways to use a line is very easy to understand. Now, to build a scene like this, we'll create a very large composition like 1920 by 5000. Straight away, with the pen tool with only stroke enabled, let's draw a long line while holding shift on your keyboard. And what's neato torpedo with lines is under the stroke options, we can slap that plus icon icon twice to turn this into a dashed line. Great! Now to animate a line, throw in the trim paths property and keyframe the start or end from 0 to 100% to reveal this line on. Now you can attach any object to our line just by creating say a filled out circle with the ellipse tool and then we can go to the path of the line and copy it and then paste it to the position of your circle or graphic. Then adjust the timing of the last keyframe and now we have a crazy line. To help you build out the scene a touch more, let's continue to use a stroke only ellipse and draw out a few circles here and there. Maybe one could be a dashed line for a little extra detail. Additionally, create a very large solid layer and throw in the grid effect and now we got more lines. But let's dial this in with the width and height slider option and then set the amount to 200 and the border to 2. Great, and when you're happy with your design, make all your layers 3D and pre-compose your work. Then make that comp 3D again, and then click this cog icon to continuously rasterize. Now resize your composition to fit your ideal 1920 by 1080 or whatever floats your boat. Here we can go ahead and create a camera and a 3D null object and then just parent that camera to the null. Now with the orbit camera tool here at the top, we can angle down on our scene and use the Z rotation of the null to complete the view that we want. Finally, let's keyframe the position of the null object to follow the line as it moves through your scene, giving you this revealing line animation. Beautiful. Now, to help you complete the scene, create an adjustment layer and throw in the glow effect. Just increase the radius by a bit. Now, with the camera, you can actually enable depth of field and pump up the aperture and the blur level to make your scene cinematic. <laughs> to create a floor reflection, in your design comp, go ahead and duplicate your graphics and then parent them to your grid layer and then set the grid's Z position to 100. Now you can apply the Gaussian blur to every duplicate and set it to 10. And lastly, lower their opacities. Back in your main comp, don't forget to add a dark solid layer for your background. And what's cool about this setup is that you can easily add new graphics into your scene by making them 3D layers and adjusting the rotation and position values to help make this a cinematic high tech line graphic. Now that we can paint the floor and paint the house like Mr. Miyagi, we can easily create many amazing things with lines, which we'll do next but ensure you always create amazing work with our free template pack, seamless and trendy transitions, and powerful motion graphics, which you can customize in no time. All right here in our Motion Duck extension, you can add thousands of templates and presets directly into your project and suit them to fit your vision in seconds. So get to producing legendary work with these countless assets linked below. And if you do pick up anything, you will be supporting this channel. So thank you very much. All right, with our new powers, let's go through a few other line examples. To create diversion lines like this, all we need to do is create a long curved path. Just be sure to hold shift on your keyboard and drag out each curve like so. Perfect. Now, as before, we can use the trim paths to animate the line from zero to 100%, and then feel free to duplicate and flip this horizontally to create another line. And of course, feel free to attach a circle or any graphics to these lines as well by copying the path to the circle's position. Finally, create a null object and parent the lines and everything to it. Then, animate the null to travel up through your scene to the end. And for a pro tip, you can also parent titles and other graphics to the null and place them into your animation and they will remain static, which is absolutely perfect. And one last pro tip, you may want to set your FPS to 60 to get that smooth, buttery motion. Okay, jumping forward a little faster now, instead of just using solely custom or straight lines, we can use any shape tool like the ellipse shape to draw a circle. And then right click the ellipse path and convert to Bezier path. And again, again, with a filled out circle, copy the path of the ellipse to the position 
and this will follow the path around a circle like this. Then you can alt click the stopwatch for a position and use the loop out expression to loop this animation forever. Now you can duplicate and offset each copy to create a string of shapes that will follow your line. Additionally, you can use the drop shadow effect to create a little cinematic separation. 10 out of 10. All right, perhaps the most elegant way to use a line is for accent graphics. All you need to do is draw out a random line design and add trim paths. And this time add keyframes for both start and end that are, you know, 13 or so frames apart. Then offset the start keyframes by a touch. Finally, select all the keyframes and hit F9 on your keyboard to make them easy ease. Then go to your graph editor. Drag out these handles all the way across like this and feel free to add a bunch of random lines that are offset over time and you'll add powerful details and moments. Awesome work. Subscribe to be the best and always be creative.